Perhaps you're familiar with this well-known and well-proven concept where God guides, God provides. Here in Exodus chapter 36, we see this with such great clarity. Let me just read to you some of Exodus 36 this morning. Verse one starts this way. The Lord has gifted Bezalel and Aholiab and the other skilled craftsmen with wisdom and ability to perform any task involved in building the sanctuary. Let them construct and furnish the tabernacle just as the Lord has commanded. So Moses summoned Bezalel and Aholiab and all the others who were specially gifted by the Lord and were eager to get to work. Moses gave them the materials donated by the people of Israel as sacred offerings for the completion of the sanctuary. But people continued to bring additional gifts each morning. Finally, the craftsmen who were working on the sanctuary left their work. They went to Moses and reported, the people have given more than enough materials to complete the job the Lord has commanded us to do. So Moses gave the command and this message was sent throughout the camp. Men and women, don't prepare any more gifts for the sanctuary. We have enough. So the people stopped bringing their sacred offerings their contributions were more than enough to complete the whole project. I love that here in Exodus chapter 36, that as God was guiding, he was providing. And not just enough, but more than enough. And if you've spent any time walking through life, you know that there are seasons of plenty and then seasons where it's just enough. But here in this season, it's amazing to see that that old adage is true. Where God guides, he provides. And as God guides, he continually provides all that we'll ever need. Through Exodus chapter 36 and then on through most of the remaining of the book, we begin to see with great specificity how the tabernacle was constructed. But I wanna encourage you with something today. It's simple, but it's true. Where God guides, he provides. So as God is guiding your life, trust him for the provision. And if you believe God is guiding in a specific way and you don't see that provision, I would encourage you to seek the Lord because it's true. God will never leave us nor forsake us. And he's the one who provides for us. And I firmly believe that where he's leading, he will always provide the resource needed. So today, trust the Lord. And as he guides, know that he will provide.